So Johnny, six weeks into the season, um, on the back of a one week break, tough opponents here in City of Armagh fourth in the table and um, how are the squad fixed? Uh, yeah we're not doing too bad uh, we've had kind of we had a down week last week um, and nice to kind of give the lads that um, down week and do some stuff uh, off the pitch with you know after coming off a, a bit of confidence with a nice bonus point of win away from home so uh, yeah we're in a decent enough spot uh, we've done a lot of work on over the last couple of weeks about kind of building set you know trying to play um, trying to you know what what good looks like for us and and trying to be consistent across that that's one of the things in the first few games that we've probably struggled with a bit is just that consistency and being able to do we've put a lot of patches of good work together um, and we need to now start putting you know more than a half you know and get into that 50 60 minute uh, space of of really good work what and what what looks good for us Good and um, City of Armagh um, are coming here on the back of a loss and Nace had a good win up north uh, before the week's break against Banbridge so it's always good to go into a game with confidence high. Yeah, it looks City of Armagh are a great side um, they stick to what they do very well and, and they stick to that for a full 80-85 minutes uh, they've had a very good start to the season you know, they're in that top four side um, and I think every game since they have been promoted there hasn't been more than a score in it either way so um, yeah, it should be a good game. It's it's you know a bit of a dark day here today, so certainly going to be an attritional battle. And managing the conditions is going to be really really important. So um, yeah, looking forward to it. Should be a good advertisement for the club game as always when these two clubs meet. So uh, hopefully we can come out the right side of it. Finally, Johnny, just uh, wearing another hat here, the director of rugby over Newbridge College and the junior cup team had a, a really good victory there recently, first in many decades, I believe, in the Bank of Ireland Leinster Ju- Junior Cup final. There's plenty of talent over there. It seems at the moment. Yeah, there is. Uh, you know, we we probably started. We're we're probably five years into uh, a cycle. I'm I'm going into my third season there. Um, so we, 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 you know, we're putting structures in place, and they're really starting. You know, we're really starting to f- see the fruits of our labour there. So um, it's a big team. Um, you know, huge support from you know teachers, everyone within the school, and, and external coaches. So hopefully, it's not. A, I know they um, got to the final, and they were joint winners in in 2020 because of Covid but hopefully it's not another 71 years before we wait for um, another Junior Cup so plenty of talent in the in the locality and all being provided by all the local clubs um, in the area across multi-sports so um, hopefully it's, uh, it's just the start of a lot of good things to come. Great, well thanks for the word Johnny and best of luck today. Cheers, thanks man. A disappointing afternoon after a good start by Nace with a one point defeat. Your thoughts on the game? Um, yeah, it's a good game. Our man really put it up to us and we showed like we have the we have the quality there to go on and win games like that. It's just putting it all together for a bit longer. And, uh, um, when we get in the lead like that, make sure we finish it out. We've been working all year and we're trying to build something out in the club and scan more of those moments and games of. Uh, where we're showing we have the quality there, it's just putting it all together really. 
Good, and uh, just on a different note, Sam, you played a lot of your football uh, over the years with Eatstown. Any chance we get you back there someday? Uh, you never know if the seasons don't collide too much, but uh, uh, the, the gas skills really transfer over into rugby a lot more than people would think, so it's quite beneficial there. Okay, well, thanks for the quick word, Sam. Yes, thank you.